hello friends uh, in this video i am going to show you how to purge and archive the work items in pega how to purge and archive the work items in pega let me tell you one scenario then what is the purpose of this archival process purging and archival process in pega for example in my application for example my application is a very legacy application and that legacy application is still running okay my application is having a millions of work items my application is having the millions of work items what will happen if my database table contains these millions of work items what will happen for example if any user is trying to search for a particular case if any user is trying to search for a particular work item again a database query will be executed against the appropriate table and the search will be happened search will be happened across all these millions of records but uh, out of these millions of records there are lot of records were not i mean to say resolved resolved means closed all the work items were resolved then what is the purpose of maintaining all those resolved or closed work items in my table for the purpose what shall we do because it will impact on the performance it will impact on the performance why because each work item contains a block each work item contains a blob data it contains a attachments it contains other data as well there are millions of records all are resolved so in that case i want to delete those resolved records last 4 years i don't want to maintain last 10 years resolved cases or work items from my database table from this year only i want to maintain the data what shall i do there are multiple there are multiple ways we can implement at this one why because i don't want to maintain all those even you can delete those records manually also that means by creating an sql queries or by creating an agent activities also or you can if you want you can use the different mechanism to delete those activities if you go for a deletion there will be an impact why because you cannot restore it you cannot restore it again some later point of time i want to restore those deleted or very legacy work items very legacy resolved cases how can you restore it you cannot restore it once it is purged once it is purged from the database table and also you know what will happen the indexes will not be maintained properly indexes will not be maintained properly even tomorrow if you want to restore it also the indexes will not be maintained properly so to avoid all these things uh, you no need to do any manual intervention or manual implementation manual implementation to achieve this mechanism pega has provided a purge and archival process pega has provided a purge and archival process what is meant by purge you can delete it what is meant by archival so after deleting pega has maintaining the deleted records or deleted work items or deleted rules etc in archival so that uh, in, at any point of time you can import or you can restore those records okay if you want your wish you can you can purge it or if you want you can purge and archival purge means only delete archival means deleting deleted records are still maintained somewhere in the temporary files temporary folder so that you can restore it again you can import it so that the, those instances or those records can be restored into your database table so we can achieve this by using the purge and archival process now in this video i am going to show you how to do this in pega okay so before that if you want to you understand the requirement right i want i don't want to maintain i don't want to maintain last 4 years resolved cases last 4 years resolved cases first of all you need to identify the data set you need to identify the data set that means 
what type of data you want to purge what type of data you want to purge okay so for that uh, we need to go for the configuration pega has providing an option in the configure system operations purge and archive purge and archive see this purge and archive utility is having two options one is a configuration another one is the scheduled process configuration means what type of data set you want to purge that means what type of data you want to purge and when you want to purge okay so next one is a scheduled process okay from when this archival process will be initiated from when this archival process should be started so you have to do these two configurations if you want to know more about this purge and archival utility pega has provided a very good documentation you just click on this link okay let me go for the configuration first i want to configure what type of data i want to purge it click on this configuration there is a configuration wizard see this very clearly explained choose the work pool containing the work object you wish to purge and archive select the name for this configuration now my intention is i have a one work pool my work pool contains a lot of cases i want to purge a very i want to purge these specific cases for example uh, in my application i have a lot of case types i have a lot of case types so this is the work pool name is sbi application case layer why because this is my sbi application uh, the work pool name is sbi application case layer if you want to see that because there are lot of cases in my application but what is my work pool how do you know that if you want to know your work pool go to your access group go to your access group work pool name is nothing but is a class group work pool is name is nothing but is a class group go to advanced here there is a work pool now my work pool name is sbi loan work okay this is my work pool now here uh, i want to purge my uh, what because i have a different different cases um, sample case i want to purge my sample case okay sample cases list you your wish you can give any name this is your purging uh configuration details this is this name contains your purging configuration details what type of data you want to purge for that you have to select the appropriate work pool then click on next now here see this no work types predefined process classes outside the work group work pool process classes outside the work pool here there is no work pool no work types defined under this work pool but cover type there is one more option called it as a cover type so you have to select which class instances which class instances you want to purge because i have a multiple case types now which case type you want to purge it or which case type instances you want to purge it there are work type and cover type because i don't have one i don't have any work type for this work pool i don't have any work type for this work pool process a classes outside the work pool or here if you want you can select any one of the uh, case type or work type now what i am doing is i am selecting uh, sample case etc now click on next now see this one define additional define additional criteria in for the work items you wish to purge so on what basis you want to purge the work items because in your work table the sample cases are having i mean to say 1 lakh sample cases 1 lakh sample cases are got created since 4 years since 4 years because uh, 10000 cases are created in 19 uh, sorry 2020 Uh, another 50000 cases are created in 2021 now the remaining cases got created in 2022 now you have to mention the criterion what is that criterion if any case if any case resolved if any case resolved more than 3 days for example i want to purge my cases 
I want to purge my cases three days since date of resolution. Three days since date of resolution. For example, now my date is 30th 04 2022. 30th 04 2022. So now what I want to do if I mentioned 120 days. So if any cases, if any cases got resolved items aging at least 120 days since the date of resolution from the date of resolution so if any case got resolved 120 days before if any cases got resolved 120 days before i want to purge those work items for example uh, 1000 cases got resolved in the december month 2021 1000 cases got resolved in so 2021. Now you want to purge those work items. So what shall you do? You have to mention how many days? See items aging at least how many days since date of resolution? My date of resolution is December 1st. From December 1st to till date is almost 150 days. So, so you have to give the 150 days. Like that you have to do it. Now what I am doing is in my case I am just giving 2 days. So 2 days back if any cases got resolved, I want to purge those cases. Now just click on next. See this one. Purge and archive all the resolved work items from SBI loan work that are at least two days old. That are at least two days old. Click on finish. That's it. Now if you want, you have to identify the data set that means you have identified the what type of data you want to purge it now who will purge it if you want you can do it manually or if you want you can make it automatic pega has provided an automatic mechanism to purge and archive this process based on the configuration settings you have configured just now pega has provided one automatic mechanism that means uh, through agents, through agents, Pega has provided some agents to initiate this purge and archival process based on the configuration settings you have defined. Now, for that also, for that also, you have to schedule that from which date, from which date you have to start this, from which date you want to start this uh, archival process after 10 days or this archival process should be happening for every 30 days or this archival process should be happened for every 6 months. So you have to schedule it. So if you want you can schedule archival process or simply you just close. Now what I am doing there is a one more option. There is a one more option. Scheduled process. Now you have to which application this is the same application. Now what is the see sample cases list is sample cases list now i want to select this one now click on create because you are going to define the schedule see this one what is the action what action so you have to select select archival settings so configuration for items sbi loan home sbi apple work that are two days old or older what is the action archive and purge or only purge. As I told you, if you want, you can only delete it or if you want, you can archive. Archive in the sense it is maintaining the backup in the temporary folders of the Pega platform. Pega platform means in which system Pega was installed. In that local mission, Pega will maintain the archives, all the purged, all the deleted records in a particular file, in a particular temp folder. Now, but here I don't want to keep it only purge. I want to archive and purge. That means, let us suppose I have a thousand records. Those thousand records are deleted and maintained in a temporary folder by using in the, in the zip file. So whenever you want, you can import it or you can restore it also. There is also a mechanism. So archive and purge, how many items? 10,000 items. Pend process for three hours. If the processing time is exceeds, Five minutes if the processing time is exceeds five minutes let us suppose if the archival process is started 
and the archival process is started and if it is if that process is exceeds more than 5 minutes then immediately the process will be stopped and it will be reinitiated after 3 hours so this is the configuration run this process for every 30 days or that means your wish that means your wish now i want to uh, run this process for every okay 30 days day starting from from which date you want to start this process there is a calendar option now uh, 3 30 3 18 now the time is 3 18 now what i want to do is i want to start this process uh, at 324 now commit the changes for every thousand items okay leave it default that means uh, commit means after deleting the records from the database table commit should be happened right then only the permanent delete will be happened so commit should be happened for every thousand records so for every thousand records got deleted from a database table from the work table now commit will be happened now click on submit you know what will happen once you click on submit see this is the summary this is the summary show summary or if you want to delete this you just click on this remove if you want to delete the schedule process you can remove it also now i don't want to remove it this is my show summary that means this is the scheduling process details every 30 days starting from 34 2022 from 324 this is my local time but anyhow it will be converted into the your operated time zone at most 10,000 items that are two days old or older than the associate data will be archived and then purged. Work item classes that will be processed sample case. Now just click on submit. You know what will happen once you click on submit. Once you click on submit, one instance will be created. One instance will be created. That instance name is, I will show you, one instance will be created. Pega excel management archival one case will be created one case will be created see this is the one pxma4 sample cases list is 30th 550 okay updated on 550 updated by admin one because i have initiated i have initiated a purge archival configuration and purge archival schedule so 30042022 then this archival process will be started by the SLA agent. Now what is the time? Go to the operator. What is your time zone? My time zone is America, New York. New York time zone. Now what is the time? What is the time in New York? But even though I have given the local time, it is taking New York time. So 5:51. 551 okay one instance got created by the pega now if you want you can open this instance this this instance will contains all the configuration details of your data set as well as scheduled process details from which date this uh, scheduled details of this archival process now see here in the py work page you can find all these details you can find all these details uh, see this one a uh, PY archival config uh, archive config this is the data archive settings data admin archive settings even if you open this data admin archive settings also even if you open data admin archive settings one data instance will be created the moment you configure the the moment you configure one data instance will be created see this one once click on this one Okay, see this one sample cases list one data instance will be created it contains what type of data you want to purge it okay so once you configure the scheduled process one work object will be created by the pega px ma4 okay so this contains the complete uh, configuration settings as well as the scheduled details you know what will happen later now the schedule process will be start the scheduled process will be start by the pega once it reaches to the appropriate time see this one uh, if you refresh this one what is this just click on refresh now you know what happened already your scheduled process is started and archival process also completed how that means two minutes back the updated by name is 
admin 1 that means uh, i have initiated this configuration i have start i have initiated the scheduled process but uh, the purge and archival process completely handled by the pega in the background through agents because you did not run that process manually you did not run this process manually the entire process will be handled by the pega through the agent so which agent is responsible for this uh, means sla agent which agent is responsible there is a one agent called it as SLA agent. That SLA agent will be responsible to process or to initiate the scheduled process. What will happen once you created the scheduled process? So the scheduled process as per the time configuration 550. Once it reaches to the scheduled time, once it reaches to the scheduled time, Pega will create a one more instance. Pega will create a one instance call it as a assign archival instance. Pega will create a one instance assign archive instance. See this one. When you click on this one, see this one PXMA4 already completed. Creator operator name. Create operator name. Who created this instance? Once it reaches to the once because you have configured the schedule, purge and archival schedule at so and so time. Once it reached to the once the system reached or uh, the pro once it reached to the appropriate time, then Pega immediately will create one instance, call it as a assign archive instance. This instance is queued by the Pega. This instance is queued by the Pega into the system queue service level event. System queue service level event. So you know what happened in the background. After creating the scheduled process, Pega is keep on monitoring. If the time is came, I mean, if the time is reached, okay, scheduled time is reached or not. Once it reached to the scheduled time, Pega will create a one assignment or Pega will create a one instance. That instance name is assign archive instance. This instance is queued. This instance is queued into the system queue service level this instance is queued into the system queue service level the queued item is processed by the this process event agent activity which is nothing but a sla agent activity now if you open agents there is a pega procom here there is a agent call it as a service level e event now that queue item is placed for this agent the queue item is placed for this for this agent here what is the queue item this is the queue item this item is the queue item this item is placed into the queue for sla agent what is that sla agent this is the sla agent service level is service level events for every 30 seconds for every 30 seconds this sla agent is executed if any queue items are placed in if any queue items are placed for this agent for every 30 seconds it will check is there any queue items immediately this agent activity will process those queue items immediately this agent activity will process those queue items now this assign rq queue item will contains the complete details of the scheduled process complete details of the scheduled process that means it contains a key detail see this one referenced object key pxma4 actually this pxma4 instance contains the the original configuration details which type of data you want to purge and when you want to purge so once this queue item is processed by the sla agent thus sla agent will get all these details from pxma4 the SLA agent will get all these details from the PXMA4 because it contains all these details. Then it will start initiating the purge and archival process. It will start initiating the purge and archival process. See this one. This is my PXMA4. Just click on refresh whether the archival process is completed or not. Once you just click on this, interval is started at 30.04. 550 and lasted 0 seconds 0 items were archived and purged and 0 items were failed that means the archival process is started 
and executed successfully but zero items were purged and archived why because i don't have any resolved work items which are two days older which are two days older so once this archival process is completed when you open this when you open this instance you can find it the archival file you can find the archival file the archival file name is nothing but a zip file archival file name is nothing but a zip file it contains all the deleted records that means all the purged records from the appropriate work table what work table SBI loan, home loan, SBI work sample case, sample case. That is the case type I have given. That case type cases are belonging to the particular work table. So all these details are purged from the table and archival into the zip file. You can download the zip file from here. By default, that zip file will be pasted into the Pega temporary folder. Pega temporary folders. At any point of time, also you can restore that zip file. You can restore the zip file. I hope you understand uh, this purge and archival process because it will improve the performance of your Pega application while searching the uh, while searching any cases. Uh, uh, if you are having a millions of cases, if you are having the millions of records in your database tables, okay, and each and every zip file is having a one naming convention. Uh, each and every zip file is having a naming con convention with the work pool name underscore and the case type name underscore and the current date and time when the zip when the archival process is completed okay so at any point of time you can at any point of time you can change or you can uh, update the schedule as well so for example you can open this px uh, where is this px ma4 this is assign archive at any point of time you can uh, remove that scheduled process you can remove the scheduled process this is my scheduled process uh, when you click on when you click on this one see this one take an action reschedule the archival or you want to run manually also when you select click on process run manually and click on submit then archival process will be started every 30 days flow process folder then interval started 550 etc you can start the process manually or at the same time also you can delete the see this one interval started at 060 and lasted 0 seconds because just now you started the you run the process manually so either you can choose the manual process or you can choose the automated process automated process means it reaches to the schedule time pega will create a one assign one assignment that assignment will be processed by the sla agent which is nothing but a pega pega uh, service level events now you can remove this scheduled process as well remove the interval information click on submit so that if you want you can uh, recreate the scheduled information for the same process you can recreate you can recreate the different schedule to purge and archive the same sample cases list you can do that as well or if you want you can update reschedule it as well reschedule it as well click on submit you can reschedule it so you can change it also so like this you can make the configurations okay uh, this is the uh, purge and archival process mm. anything is pending in the purge and archival process i have covered so all the configurations in the purge and archival process I hope you understand and you like this purge and archival process. Thank you.